Denise Miner, welcome to the book club. Let's get on to the questions we ask uh, all our writers. So the first one is, what book turned you on to reading? I think it would have to be To Kill a Mockingbird, actually, because I couldn't read for a long, long time when I was growing up because we were moving around a lot and also uh, I wasn't paying attention. So I couldn't read till I was about nine. So I went almost straight to reading proper books and uh, I read To Kill a Mockingbird so often that I en- I edited it um, because we lived like in Holland and Paris and stuff like that. And like your mum, I cut out the first... You know the geographic, they always do that in grand American novels. They sort of tell you where the hills are. I don't care where the hills are. Tell me the story. Um, so uh, so I, To Kill a Mockingbird. And what I loved about it was the overall tone of sanctimonious righteousness. I, I, that really, really appeals to me. And um, I think I'd be in the front line burning witches or knitting up the names of aristocrats at the side of a guillotine. I think that really appeals to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one is the book that got away, the book you read and loved and yet the rest of the world didn't find it. Well, I would have everybody um, read Jane Gardam. I don't know why people don't know Jane Gardam. Jane Gardam, I think it's because she writes about unfashionable things. She wrote three books. The first one is called Old Filth and it's failed in Hong Kong, failed in London, try Hong Kong. And it's about a barrister. It's about the um, the experience of people being brought up um, in an empire. It's, um, it's about very posh people. But she, as a stylist, she is, I mean, she's the best I've ever read, honestly. She's amazing. Sometimes she just goes straight into a script for a TV show in the middle of a novel and then goes back to, uh, she's, she's incredible. She's so confident. Is she still writing? She's still writing. She's a million years old. And if you mention her to anyone in publishing, they gasp. That's how good she is. <laughs> she's so good. Jane Gardam. Okay. Jane Gardam. And the last question is, uh, is there a book that you wish your name was on the front of? Is there ah. a book you wish you'd written? It's not a book. It's a short story. And it's quite pedestrian. The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. And when I read that, my first thought was a tsunami of envy, (laughs) which is the purest compliment a writer can give another writer. That's, I think, what really raises him above all of his contemporaries is that story. And I'm so jealous I didn't write it because it's just amazing. Denise Miner, I could talk to you all day. I'm really looking forward to talking to the clubbers about The Less Dead. Thank you so much for joining us on The Book Club. A delight. Thank you very much for having me. It was lovely.